Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, Fractal Bitcoin. Welcome back to the show, everybody. This show is about Bitcoin. It's about the collapse of fiat, but mostly it's about your future prosperity. Let's get right into the price update. Yeah, uh, if you haven't heard, we have crashed a lot. Right now we're at 53,000 even, but earlier uh, this morning or overnight, we actually went all the way down to, uh, you could see it up here, 49,050. 49,050. And yeah, this is bad and everything's bad. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a lot more about how bad it is. But look, you are here. You are here. You see that green circle? This is where we are. We didn't even get to the, the real intense part of the bull run yet. Didn't even happen yet. This fall, is this fall we're going to be like right here. And then next year, we're going to be up here sometime. So right now, this is what's happening. We're falling down a little. It's labeled here as a bear trap, but whatever. Uh, you know, we got to just be patient. Buy the dip. This is not financial advice. But yeah, the per periodic reminder that hodling is not easy. If you already worry about 20% dips, then Bitcoin's not for you. Yeah, and here's how people think it's like to hodl. They think you just buy Bitcoin and hold it, and it's smooth sailing. No, what it's actually like to hodl, it's insane, right? There's all kinds of FUD and drops and pumps and different things. So uh, that's what we're going through now, and it's okay, and I am not selling. I'm not selling. And yeah, here's the, the rational root telling us that this is an intermediate level hit. And you can see here, these. It's a, I guess the top dotted line is green, the middle one's red, and the bottom one is black. And you can see we just came down to the middle, basically, the middle of this whatever channel this is. And you can see down at the COVID crash back here, we hit all the way down to the black and even... In the last bear market, oh, this is the last bear market. We went down to the black. This is the previous bear market in 20, uh, 2018, 2019. So, yeah, this isn't actually that bad. Yeah, still not even a 35% drawdown from the all-time high. Weak sauce. Okay. This is, all right, I just want to comment on this because, look, this is a big drop. In fact, it's 33.27% drop. From our from the all time high back in March to forty nine thousand dollars, it's a thirty three point two seven percent drop. That's pretty big. So I'm I'm okay with people feeling uneasy with this. I personally don't. I mean, we long term we know where it's going, and so when it dips like this, it's just you know it's an opportunity for me to to buy more. Uh, but some people get a little scared. It's okay. You're allowed to get a little scared. You just have to learn and, and, and listen to people who've been in it long enough that we've been through these ups and downs, and we know that everything's going to work out just fine. And just, for God's sakes, don't sell. Never sell in these dips. That's like literally the worst thing you could do. So yeah, and so Alan B. Watts is telling us that Bitcoin is a safe haven asset that people assume is a risk asset. Thus, in the short term, it trades as such. That means that people think it's risky, so then when it starts dropping, they they sell. And uh, this is a pretty cool image here, right? I love this. It's like the Bitcoin beacon of light, and a ship is is uh, able to navigate due to the light of Bitcoin. I love that. Yeah, why is everyone panicking? Everything's going to be just like the past with Bitcoin. Here's the uh, the rainbow... Uh, what do you call it? The rainbow price chart. And you could see we're down near the bottom, right? We're almost going into the purple here. So this is, you know, this is a really good time to, uh, to purchase Bitcoin. It's not financial advice, but yeah, then we're going to be going all the way up into the, you know, this last cycle. Look at how stunted the last cycle was right here. You could see 2017, we, we got all the way up into the red. And this site, the last cycle, we barely hit the orange. And so, yeah, this cycle, well, we'll see what happens, right? We, we don't know, but yeah. But anyway, uh, and again, we still haven't reached the parabolic phase of the bull run. We're not even close to that, really. So, yeah, and this is when you've been in crypto for uh, six years. This is, this is how it feels right here. 
Uh, <laughs> he's wringing out his napkin. There's an alien in the background. Bombs going off. It's raining. And he's just, you know, getting ready to eat some soup. <laughs> this is what it's like. It really is. It really is. So yeah, Bitcoin whales are buying the dip at record pace. So remember, always look at what the big guys are doing, right? That's one thing we can do as little guys, right? Look at what the big guys are doing because they're playing with a lot of money and they're not stupid, right? They do their research. They do their due diligence. So yeah, these are the whales. And look, they're loading up. They're buying they are buying. Price is going down. They're like, oh, time to buy. So what do you think you and I should do? Well, it's kind of obvious. But yeah, as far as the global macro financial environment, yeah, it, it's everything's crashing. Everyone's panicking in the, the traditional finance world. Yeah, the, uh, the, the Mag7 tech are down more than a trillion dollars in market cap. NVIDIA, Apple, Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Meta, and Tesla. They're all just getting destroyed. There's blood in the streets. Uh, and yeah, and $2 trillion wiped out from stocks this morning due to fears of a global recession. Yeah, look at this is, <laughs> I mean, literally everything's in the red pretty much. So the whole world is having a huge meltdown today. Yeah, and it's kind of scary for sure. Yeah, because only twice in history has the volatility index the VIX, been as high as it is today during the 2008 Great Recession and the 2020 COVID economic shutdown. And yeah, you could see this is, this is what it looks like. So 2008, it was really high. 2020, it was almost as high as that. And now we're almost as high as 2020. So this is, this is a big deal as far as global economics is concerned. Taiwan's stock market crashed to the worst day in 57 years. Okay, Japan, I don't have an article on Japan, but Japan is in trouble. They're getting just hammered. Yeah. And here's Derek Ross on Noster asking a good question. Can I please get a quick uh, TLDR on why the markets are on fire at the moment? Thanks. And he says, yes, yes, I know. I normally say I don't care about macro, but I'm curious what's causing the global panic. So I will link to this thread. If you, There's a lot of good information in this thread. If you're also wondering, like, like, for real, why is it happening now? Uh, check out this thread. And if you're not on Noster, get on Noster. Uh, if you're on iOS, get the Domus app. And if you're on Android, you can get the Amethyst app. And also the Primal app is for both. So Primal, you can do that too. But yeah, Harry Suduck says, I can't imagine navigating modern chaos without Bitcoin. Zoom out and thank Satoshi. And, I, and me and my wife were just talking about this this morning. Like, imagine if we didn't have Bitcoin. I mean, we would be completely at the whim of these, uh, th this corrupt, supposed elite class of, of lizard people. I mean, we'd, right? Imagine saving in dollars, trying to save in dollars. My goodness. Bitcoin is really a godsend. So gratitude to Bitcoin. Samson Mao says, if you're worried about the collapse of the financial system, you want Bitcoin. If you're worried about war, you want Bitcoin. If you're worried about the future in any way, you want Bitcoin. I just like the way he puts this because this is true. It looks like this is true, right? Right, here's Guy Swan posting. There is literally never a time in which someone has missed the boat to buy something that will consistently grow in value by trading away something that will consistently lose value. Yeah, and I'll skip down to this part. It's like missing out on the best seats at... Sorry, let me scroll up a little. It's like missing out on the best seats at the front of the lifeboat. You know, when the, when the ship is sinking and there's a lifeboat and you can't get seats in the front of the boat. And then you say, nah, I'm just going to stay on the sinking ship. The seats in the back look uncomfortable. Yeah, no. When the ship is sinking and there's a lifeboat, you just jump in. Whether you sit in the front or the back doesn't matter, right? You jump in to the lifeboat when the big ship is sinking. So there's really a never, it's really not true that you miss the boat, right? That's literally never true. Of course, we all wish we got in earlier. That's every single person who has ever bought Bitcoin 
wishes they got in earlier. Every single person. So you're not alone. It's literally every single person. So yeah, um, I thought that was good. All right, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. I'm trying to grow this channel. I'm trying to become, you know, I'm trying to become richer than Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos put together over here, people. <laughs> All right, not really, but whatever. I'm trying to grow the channel. Uh, let's get into a few stories about some fiat government nonsense for context because Bitcoin solves these issues. First of all, we always have to remember what Frank Zappa told us. Politics is the entertainment division of the military industrial complex. <laughs> it's literally true. Politics is such a joke. It's you Don't get too caught up in politics, by the way. I mean, if you want to vote, that's fine. But I mean, look, we know it's a clown world. Both sides, all sides. It's crazy. And yeah, so let's get to some Orwellian news. The NFL is to roll out facial authentication software league-wide. Yeah, so if you go to a football game now, they're going to be scanning your face and they're going to know who you are. And this is just the beginning. This is what these, these authoritarians who are in control, this is what they want. It's insane. You know, another thing insane is in the UK, an elderly man was arrested for his Facebook comments that some people complained about. The UK is a broken society. Yeah, the British police raid homes of British elderly people over comments deemed inappropriate on social media. Soon also in your home. So they're going to do facial recognition everywhere. And if you post the wrong thing online, they might come to your house. This is all unacceptable. These are all tyrants running wild. We cannot let this happen. And thank God in the US, we can have guns. Because that might come into the equation. In fact, it's always in the equation. Yeah. Yeah, and this is an amazing story. The, these guys from uh, Get Based, uh, they were in New York filming, and their flight got canceled out of New York. I'll link to this. You can read it. It's a really nice story. Uh, but they, they were in New York, and their flight got canceled, and they were not going to be able to leave New York for two whole days. And like a lot of the hotels were full and really expensive. So they went to the Orange Pill app, which is an app to so you can connect with other Bitcoiners around the world in, in uh, all locations. They went to the Orange Pill app and they connected with someone, this woman, who is allowing them to stay at her house. And what's funny is she only literally downloaded the Orange Pill app like eight hours before they they met her on the orange pill app. So this is like Bitcoin culture. This is like people helping people. We're all on the same page. We all want to help each other. This is just great. It's a wonderful story. I'll link to this post. Definitely check it out. It's really, uh, it's, it's, it's really cool. Definitely cool. And here's Jimmy song. He's giving a free issue of his newsletter out for the first Monday of the month. Uh, check it out. And here's, here it is on Substack. I link to it. You know, you have to sign up with email, but uh, Jimmy Song is awesome. Uh, he's really awesome. So I just thought this was a great resource. And if he gives out the first Monday of the month for free, like we should be reading that because uh, if you want, because it's it's good stuff. So, yeah. And uh, just for fun, this dog has been missing for two weeks. And this is how the cat greeted him when he was finally found. This is pretty amazing here. The dog finally came home and the cat is just. Wow, so happy to see the dog, right? Just, ah, it's nice. And here also are five TikTok dances you can do to help prevent a cataclysmic financial collapse. <laughs> ah, ah, this is like, it, it's, it's obviously making fun of those r ridiculous COVID dances they were doing, right? Anyway, it's, I just thought this was funny, right? I guarantee some people are doing this, right? This is insane. And yeah, so my other dog is making fun of my corgi's short legs. I've played this before, but it was many months ago. This, this dog is making fun of the other dog. This is one of the greatest videos I've ever seen. Look at him. <laughs> He's like scooting. <laughs> He's literally trolling the, his, his brother dog. And he looks at him like, you see, I'm trolling you. That's right. And he goes back to trolling him because the other one has short legs. Oh, I love it. This is our website, fractalbitcoin.com. 
Everything is on the website that you would want to find about the show, but click this link on the top. It says join our locals community and come over here, join our locals. It's free. This is our community. We're growing it. It's awesome. And yeah, but we're growing it. So yeah. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and follow if you're watching on Rumble. And uh, we're going to get through this. This is a bad day. Yesterday was a bad day as well. This week might be bad. We don't know. Maybe we'll go lower. Maybe the the macroeconomic uh, markets are going to really collapse and we're going to go into a de recession or even a depression. We don't know. We know the whole fiat market is completely rigged and stupid and top heavy and it's going to fall. It's falling right now, but we don't know how much it's going to fall. So thank goodness we have Bitcoin and uh, that's it. I hope you're stacking sats and just hanging on. So, all right, I'll see you tomorrow for tomorrow's Bitcoin news video. All right, see you.